this is our pride and joy whiskey Pabricito. He's part cattle dog, part pit bull mix. We got him as a little baby from a rescue. I think the first thing that caught our attention about Canine Logic was the puppy socials. Our neighbor Paola had told us about this place, tagged us on the little puppy social Instagram post, and just a few days later, we were signed up. We thought it would be really important to get this guy trained because we learned pretty early on he was going to be kind of big. We just had this image of him dragging her down the street <laughs> while she was trying to walk him. Our experience with Canine Logic has been amazing. At first, we were just looking for something to socialize in puppy social. I admittedly, silly like enough, I thought I could train him. Like Jimmy said, once we realized he was going to get pretty big and strong, we sought out the actual training methodology so we could be sure, you know, he'd respect us, he'd be obedient, that he'd come whenever we'd call. And what's funny is a very like natural offset of both of those things is once we got really comfortable here, we were coming often enough, he loves it here. We got to know the people and trust them and most importantly like they loved our dog and looked after our dog. So naturally we started bringing him here for boarding like if we had to go out of town for you know anything family related. And then during the week just to break things up for him and because of our work schedules we chose one day of the week for doggy daycare. All because we sought out a puppy social experience. So. <laughs> It's, it's been pretty cool that we've gotten all these like inadvertent benefits from it. And now like, I feel like we have like this one stop convenient place to help raise him. I've only known one other dog trainer before. It seemed a little rough um, and I didn't want to, you know, have that kind of relationship with, with, uh, with whiskey. And when we heard about Canine Logic, it made it very easy to feel comfortable with everything. So everything from the introduction to the prong collar, uh, to even the e-collar, just letting us know how the tools worked made us very comfortable. I have to say, because I think it's funny now, that the night before our first training session with Whiskey, Jimmy and I had discussed the e-collar. We knew our neighbors used it, and we said, we're not going to do that with our dog. Are we in agreement? Yes, yes. Let me look at this dog. <laughs> we are using the e-collar, we like the e-collar, we better understand the e-collar. And I think part of the problem was just not having done any research ourselves, you just hear a word and you're just like, what? You, well, first of all, you hear shock color, right? You're at a training facility, you're at a place that obviously very, very much loves dogs. They don't want to hurt your dog. Like, so do your research and see what are the benefits of it. There's a variety of services offered here, so it's, it's great that it's just this one place that satisfies a whole bunch of needs. One thing I was told early on here was that dog training was actually another form of bonding with them. And I'd never seen it that way. So I, I really, I really jumped onto that philosophy and, you know, we've kind of run with it. So anytime we do any kind of uh, training with them, we make sure it's some kind of play or we're feeding him, um, learning a new skill. And ultimately, you know, we just got, you know, get closer to our, to our pup. Just at seven months old, I can take him to work and he's so good. You know, I put him in his place. He just stays there. I give him like a chew or something like that. You know, just hang out. You know, we have a lot, I have a lot of people coming around him, a lot of distractions, but once we're there and he knows where he's got to be, he just stays. What I liked about the training too, it's not just about making sure he's obedient, do a sit, do a down. There was also very like practical everyday application of the training. Place, which is where you tell the dog to go and stay in one place for a certain designated time and you do not come off until you are called. Place has been great for washing dishes and just doing all the little tasks we need to do. <laughs> I didn't know that training could be actually like practical in that manner outside of um, knowing how to walk him. Meeting cool people here and hearing about a lot of things they like to do with their dog, whether it's, it's hiking, little trips, or socials, and, and just hanging out, it's just been, it's, it's been great. Chris was amazing in terms of every session. I came with a lot of questions about raising puppies. He was happy to bestow all that other knowledge on me. Everything about crate training, my questions about potty training, about is tug of war going to make him too dominant? <laughs> all the weird things I had to say. Um, he went above and beyond. I would recommend Canine Logic to everyone with a dog. <laughs> yes. It's not just the very perfunctory, do this, then follow this. They want to make sure that you understand. So it's a very, very uh, thorough training style. They're very patient. Also helps you really connect with the dog. So yeah, I think anybody would be really happy as a dog owner.